Hello and welcome. Ever seen someone so unprepared they lose all rationale for delivering a speech? Ladies and gentlemen of the Star County Republican Party Executive Committee, good evening. And thank you, not only for your attendance, but for allowing me the opportunity to speak. My name is Phil Davidson, and I am seeking our party's nomination for the position of Star County Treasurer on November 10th, November of 2010, excuse me. In terms of my background, I am from the village of Minerva, where I am serving my 13th year as of elected service as a Minerva Council member. In terms of education, I have a bachelor's degree in sociology, a bachelor's degree in history, a master's degree in public administration, and a master's degree in communication. In terms of elections across Star County, I have represented our party twice on the county ballot in both the primary and the general elections when I ran for Star County Clerk of Courts in 1996 and Star County Commissioner in 2000, and I will not apologize for my tone tonight. I have been a Republican in times good, and I have been a Republican in times bad. Albert Einstein issued one of my most favorite quotes in the history of the spoken word, and it is as follows. In the middle of opportunity, excuse me, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. I'm going to repeat that so I have clarity tonight. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Wow. So why do you need to know how not to be like him? You will deliver a number of presentations throughout your service career to a wide variety of ranks who may have a large impact on how you progress and at times it can get a bit nervy, like that clown in the video. So a well-structured presentation can help calm those nerves and give you that professional advantage. So that's why I'm going to teach you how to structure a military presentation. Moving on to the range. We will cover the mnemonic intro, then ways in which to structure your main body, what to put in your summary, question and answer techniques, and finally, references. So that by the end of the video, you have gained an understanding on how to structure a military presentation. The interest slide is where you grab the audience's attention, which can be achieved a number of ways a funny or interesting anecdote or video, an interesting story that happened to you personally, some unknown facts or interesting statistics, basically anything that isn't offensive but is interesting. After the interest comes the need slide. Why is this presentation important and why does the audience need to pay attention Make it relatable, like my need slide at the beginning of the video. Ensure the title isn't too long and describes what your presentation is about. Some rules. Here you can add some rules about the conduct you expect from the audience whilst you are delivering your presentation, such as eating and drinking, what to do with mobile phones, or the horrific event of a fire. You can also add your question policy. The range is where you list the main topics you are going to cover. Just briefly mention each one and move on. You will be expanding on these throughout your presentation and don't want to bore the audience. Include a brief objective so there is a purpose to the presentation and to let the audience know what they should have learned by the end. Within the main body, you have to cover all the points you mentioned in the range section. This can be done in a variety of ways. So it's best to pick a theme in which to do it. A timeline, if you are presenting a historical style brief. You can set your presentation to flow in the form of a priority theme. So from best to worst, most to least, 
type of style. Or you can just freewheel, just ensure there is some kind of structure. In the summary, you will summarise your main points. But be sure not to include any new facts or material as the main body is now over. To gauge how effective your presentation has been, you can also question the audience as a form of summary. And essentially, they are summarising for you. When it comes to answering questions, don't worry if you don't know the answer. Inform the questioner that you will get back to them with an answer. On the other side of the dice, don't try and pretend you know the answer, as most people will know if you are a seedy little liar. Be precise with your answers, don't waffle, and if you need a minute to think of the answer, don't be afraid to take it. On your references slide, don't put the link to Wiki or Google, go to the actual source where they got it from. Only as a last resort use a link like Wiki or Google. So, in summary then, ask yourself this. What does the acronym INTRO stand for? What goes in the range? What slide comes after the question slide? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box. I will get back to them all. These are my references. Bye.